guys. This is how you can make your PS5 go from this to this. This is the Dbrand Dark Plates 2.0. Let's go ahead and see how to set this up. Okay, so this is the package that you get with the D brand purchase. I've got the robot camo skin. I've got the matte black dark plates. And then with the light strips, I've ordered a red and yellow one for the left and the right. So I just wanted to mix it up a little bit, make it a little bit more funky than it currently is. You get some cloths, cleaning cloths. And inside this box, there you go. Dark plates 2.0. There is the design and it does come with an air vent as well, just to prevent a little bit of overheating on your PS5. So they do have a tutorial video on how to connect this to your PS5 on the Dbrand YouTube channel. It's pretty straightforward and it should be a very simple process. And one of the reasons why I'm creating this video, instead of you guys going to watch the Dbrand tutorial on their channel, is for you know simple users like ourselves that are not too familiar with you know removing things from your PlayStation 5 and connecting something new on it. Is it actually as easy as the Dbrand tutorial shows? So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to show you guys to do it with you for the first time in real time. So let's go ahead and set this up now. Okay, first things first, put down this protective cover that comes in the box. Take your PS5, position it like this. So the first thing we're going to do is lift it up from where the PS5 logo is, put a bit of pressure and you should hear a click and then you should be able to slide it out. Now that wasn't as easy as I thought. I didn't want to damage it, but luckily everything still looks fine. Let's put this down to the side. Now we switch it over to the other side. I have the disc edition, so from here I'm facing the disc towards me on the right hand side. And this time you'll be doing it from the opposite corner, not the same corner where the disc actually enters. So let's try it on this side. It is a little bit fiddly, you might need to put a bit of extra strength than you would actually expect. And this is what I was mentioning. The D-Brand tutorial actually makes it look a lot easier than it actually was. So I just wanted to, you know, really show how much strength you need to put in it to really take these plates off. Of course, you know, you can buy a whole bunch of these types of plates from a lot of third parties, as well as now Sony selling their own official colored face plates for the PlayStation 5. But D-Brand, you know, have done a really good job making the design a little bit different to the standard ones that you expect with just, with just a little bit of a different color. So now the next step I need to do is put on the light strips before I put the dark plates on top of this. Now they do have one for the left and one for the right. You have to have the disc, and I have the disc edition facing towards you to know which one is the left and the right. To know which one is the left and the right, they do have left and right written on the actual light strips just there. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on the left one. And you do it by peeling off a small amount first. Okay, so the middle part of this 3M sticker needs to go along this light tube along the curved edges. So just start off with a small amount so you can position it carefully. And as you're going, simply pull back the sticker until you get to the curve. And then you keep going round. Once you've taken it all, just move that to the side. Make sure everything is aligned. Perfect. And now we repeat for the other side. Just 
make sure it's stuck on correctly. This is a translucent colored sticky strip. Doesn't actually change the color of the light, but it changes the color of the light based on it coming through the light strip's actual color. There we go. And now we are ready to put on the dark plates. So I reckon this will be the tricky part. So we position this over that and it mentions just to put your arm on the left side and you push on the right side to clip it into place. Is that in? I don't think it's in. Not fully. Let me try again. Push it downwards and to the left. Now is it in? I think there's still a little bit left to push. Let's see if I can slightly. There's the click that I was looking for. There we go. And then do the same thing again. I'm just gonna line up the holes. Put a little pressure downwards. There we go. That side was easy. And then finally, the camo strip. Just like the light strip, it's fairly easy to do. Because this one you have the buttons and the ports. So it's much easier to line up. Let's start off from this end and line up these buttons. And there's absolutely no need to rush this. right to the edge perfect just gonna make sure this is very solid and the last missing piece of the puzzle is the short piece that goes at the bottom again this should be fairly easy to set up because it has so many holes for the fans and the port in fact, I will just take all of it out and try to line it up like this. Might be a bit easier. That looks pretty great to me. So that's it guys, pretty straightforward process. I'm very happy with the design. I've used D-Brand products in the past a lot. I've used their skins for my MacBooks especially. I've used it for my phones. It's the first time I've used it for my PS5. And you know, they've got various different colors for the plates, the skin in the middle, and also the light strips. So check out their website. This total package cost me just under $80. And that's excluding the shipping charges depending on which country you order it to. But overall, you know, this actually took me, I would say, two and a half months to arrive. So they are very low in stock because this is a very high demand product. And one of the note, the matte black finish on these plates, they do sometimes gather dust very easily and sometimes you might see some fingerprints. That's why it's always have the microfiber cloth on hand to keep it clean at all times. So that's one thing to be aware of, but overall, you know, this is a very well built product. I like the idea of them having a removable fan. So it prevents kind of like overheating and it's much easier to clean if you do take it out. You can clean this and put it back in once you do take the faceplate off the PS5. So take a look at the design. You know, this is the robot camo, a whole bunch of really cool things in there. I just wanted to something a little bit different, something out of the ordinary. And 
when I get some friends around to play the PS5, I'm sure I will get compliments on the design of this. So that's it. If you guys are trying this and if you are having any problems or you have any questions, put a comment down below. As usual, I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you like the design of this, make sure to like this video. I do cool things like this all the time and I've got new tech videos out every week. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.